and this is Asmara Sensei and today we have this nice bracelet by GQ Torch and what I absolutely like about it is the wide variety of colors that they have and also it's just it looks very very nice very very clean look nice clean design and also very very smooth to the touch and also it's just I don't know something about it like the way it just fits all around my wrist and gives me that really really feel <laughs> no but all seriousness I just really really like this thing and I'm pretty sure you will too but first let me tell you a little bit about it wearing this bracelet can serve as a reminder to focus on self-love compassion and attracting positive energies into your life whether you're seeking to enhance your relationships or create a sense of inner harmony this bracelet can be a meaningful accessory that resonates with your intentions and honestly for that very reason is why I chose this one in particular because yes it has that heart shaped thing on it for sure which reminds people of love it reminds me of love it reminds me of one of the greatest qualities in the world love so hopefully you too will have more love in your life especially when you have this bracelet so I gotta move those combo balls in at some point these 
are going to start acting up. Like your character is just going to start moving on their own. Like slowly like this. This is the controller. Right? Move it and your character is just doing all this. All that, right? But then you just, let's say you, you just touch it. Your character's like. And then sometimes you just got to slap it. your analog bro okay now worse that's just the worst and then guess what you go to GameStop you're like hey I want to I want to trade this in thinking you might be able to pull one over on them hey I want to trade my controller in uh yeah yeah everything works fine GameStop's still going to be like Disappointment was miserable. 
was a sad day for the movie dealer. But you know what? I've had worse. But also, on that note, though, I want to take the time out and say I do appreciate those three fold people that put in a video for the movie dealer. I appreciate you. I do. But unfortunately, I have to delay. I have to delay that video. Because I'm going to wait until I have more people. That way, you know, it would like just everything will be there. Like everybody, mostly, will be there. But I think also people just need it more time, you know. Because I'm, I'm like a person of speed that like just likes to get things done. Like, boom. I think of something, I'm like, okay, boom. Let's get it done. I got to tackle. Like, just boom. And I'm going to tackle this truck driver. For, he just keeps driving by like that. I'm about to tackle him. But anyway, tackle life. That's what, what one of my boys was saying. Tackle life with speed. So, that's what you got to do. Tackle life with speed. And also, also, also. Man, I'm sorry to be raining here right now. But also, there will be rewards for that movie deal collaboration with the subscribers and all that good stuff i was thinking like honestly at some point just straight up giving away a playstation 5 or xbox series x like as a main top reward and then there will probably be other rewards like a playstation 5 edge controller or xbox elite controller or some playstation network cars or xbox cars or some stuff for pc so i was thinking about all this stuff and that's why I was like, man, I'm just trying to get the train rolling, <laughs> you know, but it's just complicated right now because, uh, I'm pretty sure you can see it. Uh, we once had like you know, our views that were like 200,000 views, like per video, like back in the, back in the day now, it's, it's like so long ago now. I don't even know what like a decent day on this channel even feels like anymore, to be honest. And it's just me thinking here. Uh, thank you for being with me. Like, well, I'm just ranting right now. But every now and then I have these moments where it's like, you know what? I gotta talk about some real stuff real quick. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. But, uh, yeah. I don't even know what a good day on the channel even feels like. I just know that if I'm alive and dealing with these speeders and whatnot, and just waking up, making sure I stick to it, I just feel like that in itself is a good day. But as I look on it, you know, it's like, dang, man, I really do miss having, like, like my content actually, like, be sent to the right people. Because when you look at your YouTube analytics and whatnot, you see, like, what kinds of groups, like, what, what kind, like, like, where it goes in the YouTube space of things. And I literally see my videos go to, like, hey, guess what Kim Kardashian's wearing today? Like, why is my video showing along that? I know someone might be like, hey, yo, that's Kim Kardashian. That's awesome. No, that's not awesome. Because do you think people who are watching Kim Kardashian or trying to figure out what she's wearing is going to watch the movie dealer? No. <laughs> Mostly not. I am like, who the freak is this guy? You know? And then that's an impression right there. So let's say uh, out of 200,000 impressions from Kim Kardashian video of makeup or something, percent click 10 percent click on the thumbnail from that video you're just gonna buy it well i guess people don't want to watch it so we're not gonna recommend it to anybody i'm like no wonder youtube no wonder you sent it to the wrong people <laughs> so ultimately that's what it is so i'm not gonna be like hey you know what the youtube algorithm is just doing me dirty i know that ultimately the youtube algorithm is just the audience but of course there's that hidden variable there it's like, okay, this guy dropped a video. Let's send it out there to this audience here, there, whatever. But then it's like, okay, move it to our, or my ASMR videos in general. Hey, guys, guess what? I got my fishing rod today. Yeah. Don't write. Yeah. A fishing video. And I'm like, okay. But I just keep on going because I'm like, you know what? No matter what. You gotta change your dreams. And this, all the way until the day I die, is my dream. To just produce these videos, be it movie dealer, ASMR videos, whatever. It's always been my dream to just create.
stove. This little like the net is just flying around like light. Let me fly to it. Fly. Like dude, stop. The next time I catch you, I'm going to squash you. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I like just trying to make these videos and make you smile and laugh and hopefully chill. And honestly, uh yeah. Just trying to make these videos and of course my videos are going to be monetized like start to finish mostly most of them anyway because i'm not gonna lie it's rough right now for your boy the movie dealer slash asmr sensei the real me behind the scenes it's rough right now okay i just had a week or like nearly two weeks i was negative 34 dollars okay like negative your boy was negative for a bill said you know what but yeah most of my vids are going to be monetized obviously because that's the way it supports the channel supports me and it's just it's just the way it is like i would love to have videos where they're not monetized at all you know that'd be great and of course every now and then i will have a video that has no ads at least for you know that middle that middle so yeah there will be a beginning and there might be one all the way at the end but that six or whatever and that's gonna be with no middle for me that's that's actually a little bit taking a hit because that video could have been monetized like all in a row and that would have greatly benefited the channel but i do these things for you actually now i'm not looking for some praise on that but you gotta at least respect that much you know especially when your boy was negative 34 dollars i was negative 34 It's actually been pretty great and that's the shocking thing is like YouTube is, has actually been pretty great it's just I need to get my views like back up there I don't know when that's going to happen but I'm telling you right now I'm going to keep pushing keep it going keep it moving forward no matter what 1,000 views 2,000 views 3,000 views look I don't care I, I'm going to keep going because I know that at some point I'm going to get there that's all I know. And that's how you do. You should focus on your dreams and stuff. Whatever you aspire. Like whatever it is you're trying to do. Just keep going. Look at me. Your boy is over here. 1,000 views. 2,000. 3,000. 5,000. 10,000. Maybe on a very, very good day. 30,000 views. But ultimately, I'm averaging around. Hitting around 2,000 or so. And it's just like, wow. Kind of rough. But that's okay. You know, because like in the process of all that, I'm just going to be trying this trying that because i mean i know that most people like the movie dealer right so obviously there's just going to be naturally more movie dealer videos just because like he's just i'm just that good i guess or that funny i don't know but anyway i don't want to do my own horn but you know I'm, I'm just saying and that's why also there's just more stuff to the movie dealer like maybe you know, a car dealer i know you know you guys requested that one so yeah there will be a car dealer it's just, I'm not gonna lie, car dealer is certainly the one that takes the longest amount of time to make. Like, I mean, a very long time. I mean, it'll get done, for sure, but it's like, that's a, the car dealer one is the one I'm very, very particular in. I can't just be like, boom, yo, my man, I got the car, I got a GDR. Like, no, nah, like, it's, I can do that, but like that, I feel like there's no substance in that one. Like, I like to like, if I pick a car and say it's a GDR, I'm about yo, here's something you probably didn't know about the GTR. Blah 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 blah. You know, it's got this much horsepower. It's got, it's got this and that. I bet you didn't know it had that, or maybe you did. But you, you know, I just want to ring your bell a little bit. Heck yeah, this is what this car is about. They call it a GTR because of blah blah blah. You know, and then if I go on to a Ford GT, yo, the Ford GT, it won the Mans like two three times. No, it's probably more. I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying, for example. So, so yeah, man, uh, it's like, I just want to bring like more, more content to it than just saying, yo, I got a GTR. So that's my thing on that. And that's why that one, the car dealer takes a little bit more time. Motor, it could just kind of come in and just be like, yo, I got these cheese totals, two bucks. You know what I mean? So, so that's what that is. Yeah, moving forward, there's just going to be more videos.
because of this and that. One thing that has really, 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 really like kind of got my attention a little bit more or that I just want to do more of is that creating a nerve exam. Like I have like, I don't know, I just have like this, this real good vibe moving for just doing that video or those kind of videos. And of course, that's just, it's just like one of many to be honest, but I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to add to the overall arsenal of this channel is that there is just variation, a variety of like still somewhat similar content. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's role play. It's a role play ASMR video. And I'm pretty sure that's literally our niche is role play. So hopefully you enjoy the videos. I hope you do. And, uh, you know, maybe, just maybe, you can hook your boy up with like some PayPal money or something like that. And, like uh, a couple quarters or something, you know like a dollar or something like dollar to do because uh every dollar and quarter matters especially now more than ever i'm not gonna lie that negative 34 messed me up like i was like i mean and that's because i know it's like it's kind of the irony of it it's like i honest to god try to be so responsible and, and try to take on like all the things i gotta take care of and it's like Next thing you know, it, hate maker, and you know what I mean. And it's like, wow. It's like no matter what I do, it's just like there's there's just always something, always something coming up for me. That's just gonna hit me somewhere, and it's uh, it it can't be rough. Like like just just rough. That negative thirty four was just rough. I'm talking like eating a bowl of cereal every day, like every day. be my meal for today and maybe if i could like find some tuna somewhere like doing it again and I, and boom i'm talking bro bro my boy's in the brokey days right now but you know what that's why i'm just you know like with expression if not now then when so that's why i'm saying you know what let me just focus like let me just focus and get my stuff done there's gotta be a light at the end of the tunnel somewhere. Y'all hope for me on that. Hope that I actually get there. Cause that's where I'm trying to go. It's just trying to get everything built up and just going. Cause honestly, I do see myself, and I'm calling it right now. I do see myself at a million subscribers. I see it. You know why? It's because, bro, I've been in this for a long time. I'm a long time. I've been in there probably about the same amount of time as Fred's voice. And I remember when this guy was like 80,000 subscribers. Like, he's still doing what he does, ultimately. And it seemed like the algorithm, like, back in the day, we just used to be like, yo, the algorithm. You know, this and that. No, I don't know. I can't speak for Fred's voice in that. But I imagine he had that feeling like, yo, the algorithm is just doing me dirty right now. Because I literally seen this stuff back in the day. And I was like, yo, this guy should be up there. And lo and behold, look out. This dude is way, way up there. Bigger than Massage ASMR. The goat. The Billy Goat. But then, uh, yeah, Massage ASMR is just a different case. I don't know what that guy's doing anymore. And then Raffy Daffy, he used to go too. But Fred's voice is like, just, pew, not coarse. I imagine it's just probably because he looks like Thor. So that, that helps too. So he's got all that going for him. And he's just a real, he's a swole dude. So maybe I gotta get swole too. Maybe at some point there's gonna be a, a real buff movie dealer. You know what I'm saying? I'll just be like, yo, check out these, uh, check out these dangles and triggers over here. You know what I mean? At some point. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you one thing. I love keeping it real with you. And that's one thing I, I do pride myself on is just keeping it real. You know, if there's something I wanna talk about or whatever. I might just have to, you know, break out whatever it is I was doing and just be like, yo, let me tell you what it is for a minute, because I got something on my mind. I got something I need to put out there real quick. <sighs> yeah. It was just actually just, just a part of a whole lot. But, uh, yeah, on a brighter note, we're going to get there. We're going to. So just watch me. I know there's people out there that are like, yo, I'm glad this dude is like not where he was back in the day, you know, hitting those crazy numbers and whatnot. Oh, 
did that. I'm over here talking to someone that's like still there right now. And he said even more people left because they hate the new management. So I'm like, bro, all that it just had to have blown up in his face. And then on, no, no, no. And the kicker is, is that he's not even there no more. So I, I don't know. I, I just have this thing where it's like, dude, I, I don't picture myself long term working for somebody in some company. Like, I'm not even saying I want to run the company or anything. I'm just saying I don't picture myself being in that environment like that, where it's totally, and I mean, absolutely, totally unpredictable. You know, it, it's just totally like imagine like actually having like your all your stuff set up and whatnot, and then your boss just comes in. Uh, house weather yeah it's nice isn't it hey uh, can I talk to you I kind of let you go I, I, I hate to do this I mean, but yeah gotta let you go I mean it's like you know what I mean and that's what it was that's how it is and that's why I'm, I'm just I'm just not with it, man. Like I, I don't care who says what on it. It's like I'm just I'm just not with that. And that's how I am. Especially when I know like this whole time I've been doing YouTube videos and whatnot and just doing my thing. I'm probably gonna have a full gray beard and I'm still gonna be like What's going on my man? I've got these movies I'm trying to come up off. You know, I'm gonna be gray bearded and everything. I'm still gonna be doing this. I'm telling you, I flat out refuse to go about it any other way. <laughs> but that's me. And that's my conviction on just how I am with just sticking to my own cause. And I hope that you too can find your own thing and stick to it. No matter what. Hey, look, it may not be the norm for Billy Bob and Billy Sue. Because mommy and daddy were like, all I ever did was apply for jobs and go flip patties or something like that or just go wash the cars or sell the cars i'm like okay that's great for mommy and daddy that's great for them because i guess that totally worked out for them heck i bet it did when rent was a whole lot cheaper when living was a whole lot cheaper i bet it did nowadays it's like a total different story it's like yeah i'm not saying i'm not saying that stuff is impossible now but it's like i'm pretty sure we all agree things have got to be rougher nowadays anybody that's old enough the kids they can't talk unfortunately they can't talk they don't know what it's like back in the day they don't know you know all they know is freaking spongebob and stuff they don't know about real hard work and hard labor being out there in the sun 90 degrees and out there sweating your tail off you know what i'm saying the manager's like can you hurry up i'm not saying all of them don't but you know real hard work i know it all well so yeah and of course of course ultimately that's what life, what, no matter what, you can't be lazy in it, you know, so wherever you are, even if you're flipping patties, y'all be the best of it, flip them patties then, if y'all there making deliveries, be the best of it, you know, do what you gotta do, but if you ever kind of wake up to reality and be like, yo, I gotta do more than this to support myself or support my family. If you ever wake up to that realization, ever have that because maybe you're not doing enough, then let me tell you, get on YouTube. Or get your side hustle going, whatever it is. Maybe mobile detailing, something, you know, cutting people's grass, figure something out. Because without a doubt, you definitely have to act now on it. So that way you can keep this thing going. Not only keep it going, but just have it all started and just worked out. Because you can do it. Even though a lot of people might be like, nah, that's crazy, you can't do that. Bro, me doing YouTube was like crazy. But look, look, I would take a thousand viewers over nothing. You know, so anybody still hate right now, I'm like, yo, can you get a thousand viewers? Can you get more than that? Can you? Because I'll, I'll take pride in even the smallest amount. If I got 50 viewers, I'm like, yo, can you get 50 viewers? All right, then that's good enough for me to keep going. So, I'm sorry for this rant, but sometimes it's like I, I need to like get some things off my chest. I 
just like there's some things I just want to talk about and discuss with you because I know that by watch these videos and I don't know what you actually think of the movie dealer I don't really know I believe it or not I'm pretty sure there are some that think that I'm a bad guy or something like that they're like man this guy he's not legit or he, he, he's a scummy individual there's probably some people that actually think that way for whatever reason I don't know but you know I feel as though that I'd rather you know connect here and there instead of being very very elusive with actual reality like just just stuff like real stuff going on but uh yeah i don't know <sighs> it's just been kind of rough yeah <sighs> but <laughs> we're gonna get through it see that hopefully you will still be around to see that and have me like still with the channel because if not if not because i'm not gonna lie like every time i upload a video i have like this weird thing that happens i upload this video no matter what it is it'd be a movie dealer xyz no matter what it is i initially initially lose like two three subscribers or four but then i make like a hundred because of that video I, have, I literally have people on my channel that wait for me to upload and they'd be like, oh, that guy, unsubscribe. Or they'd be like, oh, you know what, who's that? Unsubscribe. I forgot why I subscribed. Unsubscribed. And it's like, I can't say it's annoying, but it's like, I just find it funny. Because it's like, that's, that's, that's funny. That I got people on here that just subscribe and they don't know why they're subscribing. I'm pretty sure I got people right now that I have just realized right now that they subscribe and they don't like hey you know what he's right i subscribe i don't remember why i subscribe unsubscribe so it's like i just wish i could just be like you know what let me get a filter button and just be like yo everyone that's like unsure why they subscribed in the first place or just feel some type of way for whatever reason can you just please get off the channel just just go ahead unsubscribe and get off the channel because it's like I have 156,000 or whatever subscribers. I just wish that number would actually reduce itself to like, I, I guess, a thousand or two. I, I just wish I would go from 156,000 to like 1,000. I know that sounds crazy, but I want that to actually represent what I'm doing right now. Like, represent. Like, he's got 1,000 viewers. So, 1,000 views. Let's just say that worked out that way. That concludes today's video. Uh, the next one will be real, real legit. Uh, I'll, I'll try not to go off topic too much. I, I'll let that one, you know, I'll stick, I'll stick to the plan, whatever that was. And uh, yeah, that'll be the video for whatever's next. With this one, I just had some stuff I wanted to talk about. And uh, yeah, a lot of real stuff. saying this stuff anyway because it's like I know one day I'm going to look back on all this and by man I remember when I was around that time having negative $34 in my pocket no you couldn't even have that in your pocket you had air in your pocket you had minus air in your pocket <laughs> so uh, I'm pretty sure at some point I'm going to look back on this video and be like yeah I remember when I was negative like that for sure I remember eating bowls of cereal left and right for sure I remember and hopefully I will be eating I don't know just, just something good at the time because so I'm not gonna lie it, for some odd reason I kind of torture myself with it because I'm like I'm, I'm like okay I'm negative but I'm literally on YouTube watching people eat food in a month bang or whatever month bang or whatever and it's more eating videos I'm watching them like man that looks good flaming y'all I'm like, man, that looks good. A whole piece of ramen noodles. I'm like, man, that looks good. I'm over here torching myself for no reason. I'm like, bro, why am I doing this? <sighs> so, I keep on saying that's the end of the video. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, that's the end of the video. Well, let me go ahead and just wrap this up. Okay, I'm done. You, you can go ahead and leave now. Okay, you're still here. All right. So, I got more stuff I'm going to say. You know, and I'll stop. <laughs> That's it in the video. That's it. For now.
if you made it this far, you know what? You're a real one. That's all I can say. If you made it this far, then you're a real one. Because most people, I just feel like in general, they only stick around for like the first 30 seconds, first minute or two. I really stick around for the whole thing, no matter what it's about. That's the end of the video. Thanks for being with me this far, this long, and whatever. And uh, I appreciate you, no matter who you are. Because I know, look, I see you guys on the channel. I see you. I remember, especially those that comment frequently, like, I see you like every video. I know who you are, and I appreciate you. Like, seriously, I do. And uh, I don't care if you, if it's like, oh, but I'm just one person of like the many people that you have on your channel. I might do. I notice everybody. Like, absolutely everybody. I know you see all the marks in the videos. Like, I read every comment. And don't get me wrong, I wish I could reply to every comment, but it's like, I know in reality I can only reply to like a few before I just, I gotta break off from YouTube and just, you know, get some fresh air. Because <sighs> if I'm to reply to every comment, like seriously, like reply from start to the very last person, I would be here all day just checking comments and just replying. Never like breaking off from YouTube from the stress of it all. I'm just trying to get this thing to work and whatnot. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot for you guys. Okay. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, I'm here. And this is what I do. As a movie dealer, as a smart sensei, as Mr. Rocks, as Manny. I don't know if you guys remember Manny. But if you remember Manny, I'm pretty sure no one's even going to comment because they probably didn't make it this far. But if you remember Manny, you know, Manny with long hair and gun hair and whatnot. If you remember Manny, and Manny Cuts, and you want him back, just let me know. At any, at any point in time, in this video or the next, whenever, whenever you actually happen to get this far in the video and be like, yo, I remember Manny, let me know if you want him back. Because I've been thinking about it. And you know what? Regardless, I might just bring him back anyway. <sighs> it was a very interesting character. Yeah.